All right, hi everybody. So this question says that the graph of y equals the square root of x minus 3, minus 3 is given below, so here it is. Okay. And what we're going to do here, um, we're going to take this. Now, this is, this is a kind of question you've got to be prepared for. We are starting with a function that is already the transform, or is already a transformation of a base function here, okay, the root x. So this has already been moved uh, 3 to the right, 3 down. What we're going to do to this is we're going to transform this thing now, an additional 3 to the right and 2 units down. And we're going to sketch the transform function. We're going to state the domain and range here. But I just want to think of it this way here. Take a look at what this is stating first. If you compare this to y equals root x, okay, this is already, this has undergone a horizontal translation 3 to the right and a vertical translation 3 down. Okay, now we're going to go a horizontal translation 3 more to the right and we're going to go at a vertical, sorry, yeah, a vertical translation 2 more down. So the result, if you will, is in effect going to be a horizontal translation 6 to the right and a vertical translation 5 down. Whoops, vertical translation. Now, that equation would look like this. Okay, 6 to the right would be x minus 6, 5 down would be a minus 5 outside. Now, from here, okay, 3 to the right is going to put this, uh, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 2 down is going to put it down here at negative 5. The graph's going to look like this. And so my domain is going to be x is greater than or equal to 6. My range will be y is greater than or equal to negative 5.